Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Jolene and today I'm going to be telling the story of meeting Jonathan Lipnicki and partying with him on his 18th birthday. Now this is only an audio because I really don't feel like doing my makeup and my roots are really bad. I need a touch up, but I still wanted to tell this story and get it out there. So, when I was 20 years old, I had a really good friend. Her name was Vanessa, and I called her V. And it was so pretentious of me to call her V, but whatever, she went with it, and it was cool. So one night, we went out drinking, and that's a whole different story in itself. But when we came home... All that vodka we had drunk just hit us before we even walked in the door of my apartment. Now, this apartment I had, I... Really, it wasn't mine. It was my friend's and her boyfriend's, and her boyfriend was on leave. So, we all moved in while he was gone for six months. So, I just happened to be living there for that time. So, we're about to walk into this ap apartment... <laughs> And we're so drunk that we stumble in the door and everybody's playing sorry. It was freaking random. And so my friend's cousin had come down for a tournament and he brought a friend with him. And when I walked in, I was like, I know you. I don't know you. What's your name? And he's like, oh, I'm Johnny. I didn't think anything of it. I go inside, go to the bathroom, freshen up, and then I go two doors down to this guy I was seeing at the Times house. All right? So morning comes. I'm outside smoking a cigarette, and I decide I want to go home. But instead of walking through the building to mine, I just went around the outside, hop the porch wall, and then hop the porch wall to my apartment. And as I'm outside, I get a phone call from my friend V. And she's like, hey, I'm so hungover. Do you want to come over and have some coffee with me? And I'm like, sure, just let me finish this cigarette. She's like, okay, totally cool. Well, as <laughs> I'm putting my cigarette out and walking inside, I see this person just sleeping on my love seat and it's a little leather white love seat and so right when I walk in the door I look down and notice him and he happened to just open his eyes at that moment so I bet it looked really creepy to him like someone standing over me and staring well, whatever. And I was like, oh, hi, I'm Michelle. And he goes, yeah, I remember I met you last night. And I was like, oh, yeah, totally wasted. My bad. <laughs> He's like, no, it was funny. I'm like, okay. And I was like, hey, anyone ever tell you you look like that kid from Stuart Little? He goes, actually, I get that all the time. <gasps> I don't think anything of this. And so me being me, I'm like, okay, bye. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. So I walk out the door and I take about two steps and it hits me. I'm like, that is the kid from Stuart Little. <laughs> so me, I can't let this go. I open the door. Hi, Xander. Everyone, this is my son Xander making all the noises. <laughs> Anyway, so I open the door back up and pop my head in the apartment. And I go, you are the kid from Stuart Little, aren't you? And he goes, yeah, I am. And I'm like, okay, well, have a good day. Bye. And I close the door and I continue to go have coffee with my friend. So why I'm down there having coffee with my friend? Of course I tell her because I just met the kid from Stuart Little. Like... How often does that happen? So we finish our coffee. We go back to my apartment. And we walk in. And Johnny's there. 
and his best friend, Keenan, which is my roommate's cousin. And they just happened to be in town for an MMA tournament, jiu-jitsu tournament, something like that. Something along the lines of fighting. They were in town. They were crashing for the weekend. So they're getting ready to go to their tournament. They take a shower and then, like, they're getting dressed, and I take a shower. And somehow, we get into an empty shampoo bottle throwing contest. And we're chucking these things across the apartment, laughing, having a good time. And I swear to God, the four of us became, like, the four best friends of that trip. So it was me, Vanessa, Keenan, and Johnny. Well... It was also Jonathan's 18th birthday weekend. So we're out there. We're having a good time. We decide we're going to go to Hooters for his 18th birthday. And it wasn't like a random decision to go to Hooters because Keenan's cousin, my roommate at the time, ex-best friend, whatever you want to call her, worked at Hooters. So it wasn't that random that we went there. But that's where we were going to go. Anyways, so we get in the car. Now, me and Vanessa are born and raised in San Diego. But we still somehow managed to get lost. But it was totally Jonathan's fault because he was driving. And I told him to stay on the 8, but he got on the 805 South. And then we ended up in, like, Chicano Park. Not where we were trying to be. Especially when we were going to the Hooters in Fashion Valley, San Diego area. If you're from San Diego, you know what I'm talking about. So, we're lost downtown. Or not downtown. We're lost in San Diego, almost downtown-ish. But Chicano Park, Logan, City Heights area. And... Trying to find our way back to the freeway. And he's talking shit about like, oh, you guys lived in San Diego and you still don't know where you're going. And I'm like, I'm not the one that got us lost here. (laughs) Like, you didn't listen to me. That's on you. So this is a part where he's like, oh, can you grab my uh, phone from the glove box so we can put in the GPS? Because he's responsible. He drives with his phone in the glove box. At least I think I was getting his phone from the glove box. Either way, I was going into the glove box getting something upon his request. When I opened the glove box, freaking (laughs) a pack of Magnum condoms fall out, right? So I make a joke. I'm like, what do you need these for? He looks at me and he goes, you later. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. (laughs) I was like, hey, hey, hey. No, flattered, but no. (laughs) Anyway, we get to the restaurant. We have the dinner. People are noticing that it's him, and they're coming up, and they're asking for autographs, and it's kind of weird. So we kind of, like, weren't enjoying the experience of uh, celebrating someone's birthday as you would like to. Well, anyway... We just get a funny feeling, get a vibe, and we're like, okay, we're going to leave. So we end up leaving and going back to the apartment. We didn't get lost. We made it back home. And actually, our friend that worked at Hooters got off early, and she came home. And we had heard about this Halloween party, like, or a costume party. It was a costume party. I'm not sure if it was a Halloween party, because I actually can't remember when Homeboy's birthday is. But if I, I'm sure I could Google it and be like, okay, maybe it was a Halloween party. But it might have just been a costume party. And, but it was in Hamul. So she gets home. We all get dressed. We, like, do some kind of, like, like slutty thing, pimpy thing, Hugh Hefner thing. You know, we just, like, put something together. I think that Johnny and Keenan went in their, like, fighting gear. They went as fighters. So we get to this party, and we're there for a little bit. We're all in the kitchen. We're having a good time. And this girl scream. Girl looks at him, and she screams, You're fucking famous, aren't you? You're the kid from Stuart, Stuart Little. And everyone 
just like everyone in our group freezes and like kind of looks around and she's like, don't lie to me. And he's like, yeah. And they're like, oh my God, Jonathan Lipnicki's here. They're so crazy. And we're like, this is so awkward. And so I go up to him. I was like, hey, if this is too much, like we can totally leave and just go back to the apartment and have a good time there. Like, I know this is not what you signed up for. And he was totally cool. He's like, you know, it kind of comes with the territory. I was a child actor. Like, people tend to react like this. It's totally fine. And I was like, you're okay. I was like, you're cool. So we're there. We're at the party. We're having a good time. And just for some reason, not some reason, I wanted to leave. There's a girl there. I wasn't sure if we had beef. I wasn't trying to start beef. Apparently we didn't have any beef because she came up and like gave me a hug and was so happy to see me. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so we leave. We go back to the apartment. And we're hanging out. And all of a sudden we notice that Johnny had disappeared. Well, at the time we had another roommate. Her name is Ashley, but I call her slut face hoe bag. So slut face hoe bag like disappeared too. And we're like, where is everybody? The hell? And we go into the spare bedroom and we catch Johnny and slut face hoe bag making out. And here's the reason we call her slut face hoe bag. She had a boyfriend at the time and she texted him and was like, I'm too busy for you. I'm making out with the guy from Jerry Maguire. And I was like, this this bitch <laughs> yeah and it was just a crazy night and the next morning we woke up he went home and the world moved on and that was the first and only time I've met Jonathan Lipnicki and hung out with him and now this story video will be just pictures all right. Have a good day.